So how do you talk to somebody when you see them and you're interested? How do you engage them? It's really easy to be shy and trust me, I know, I used to be super shy and now I talk to pretty much anybody. <laughs> you can't feel too much. <laughs> so have you ever been out at a club or at a park or at a movie or at a party and you, someone catches your eye and you're like, I really want to talk to that person. But then you start doubting yourself, like, what should I say? How should I engage them? Have you ever had that moment, a moment of hesitation? First of all, it's really important to know what it is you wanna say, of course, before you walk up to them. And be careful about your brain, right? Because our brain can get in our way and start being like, well, what if they think you're stupid? What if you say something wrong? What if you screw up your words? And then your mind goes so much that you never say anything at all and then you regret it. Have you ever regretted something like that? Look around and see how they're interacting with the environment. If they look like they're having fun, are they talking to their friends? Are they watching the music? How are they interacting? Maybe they're standing back and they're looking a little shy or bored. When somebody else is standing back and not talking to anybody, it could be that they are feeling the same thing as you are. If they don't know how to engage, they want to engage, they want to talk to somebody or they're bored and they wanna go, but either way, they're gonna enjoy having someone to talk to, right? And if they are having a really good time and they're really engaging, you can go up to them and say something about what's happening. Like, isn't this a great band? Also, have you ever seen? And you can talk about another band that you like as well that's similar. Or you can ask something like, have you ever been here before? Or if this is my first time here, you can start out conversation like that because you're making an effort, you're showing interest. And that's the first step is when we start showing interest in other people, they have a couple of options. They can blow you off, right? Which doesn't feel good to us, but then you also know that they're probably not the kind of person that you wanna be around if they're gonna be so rude and right and judgmental right away or if they're gonna blow you off right away, they're probably not gonna be very fun and engaging partners down the line, right? They're not gonna be open to communication perhaps or maybe they're just having a bad crabby night and it has nothing to do with that. So don't take it personally either way, right? Or maybe they'll start engaging back with you and you'll actually get what you want. You'll have an opportunity to open the conversation. Now, some people like to take a little bit more bold of an approach, right? To come up, like, I know a lot of women that get this a lot. Hey, you're really looking sexy tonight. Hey, you're looking really hot tonight. Or to tell a guy like, hey, you look really amazing. You wanna go hang out. Some people love that and they love the attention. They love being told that they look good. They love being complimented right off the bat. Other people don't. Other people feel like they're being objectified or used, right? So there's no right, wrong answer. What you wanna do is do what usually comes natural to you. So if you love the music and you wanna engage with the music, do that. If you're more attracted to them because you think they look amazing and that's who you are and how you interact as a person, then talk about that first. See how they react, right? They may blow you off because you're the 15th person that told them they look good tonight or they may really enjoy the compliment. So the biggest thing and the biggest key, this is really important, is do not take it personally. If they blow you off, if they ignore you, if they brush you off, if they get upset, don't take it personally. We all want to be liked, we all want to be loved and different personalities match differently. Right? Or sometimes people are just having a bad day there have been times people have come up and complimented me and I've had a bad day and it's broken me out of it. And other times where people have complimented me and I've had a bad day and I'm all in my head and I have just a hard time functioning and engaging. So seriously, I was so stressed out the other day. This is kind of funny. I was at a restaurant and I, the waitress came up to order for me, but I didn't have my computer. I was all like thinking about it. And I remember hearing her say, would you like anything to drink? And I totally ignored her. Like I totally ignored her. I <laughs> didn't even say anything. And she came up later and I had to say, did you come up earlier and ask if I wanted something to drink? She's like, yeah. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I blew you off. It had nothing to do with her. I was just so in my head about how am I going to do my work when I don't have my computer? 
that like I couldn't process anything else in that moment, right? So take that for what it's worth. And I hope that you find the courage, step out of your shyness and you know what? Practice in other spots before you get in that situation of a party. Start talking to people in the grocery store. Start engaging to people that you don't actually care what their reaction is because you'll start getting your social skills moving. You'll start getting um, a better understanding of how you like and how you want to communicate with people and how they interact back and forth. And then you'll know that half the people engage and half the people won't. Half the people stutter away or say something really trite or something like, hey, yeah, the weather's great, and then walk away, and that's okay. And the more and more you know it's not about you and you can just be authentically yourself and talk in the way that you wanna talk and express in the way you wanna express, it'll be much easier when you're at that party and you see that person that you wanna to talk to. Subscribe if you found any value out of this and comment below. What's your favorite opening line and what do people get out of it? Do you get a lot of good reactions or do people walk away? Namaste. Have a good day.